Over the last 20 years or so, our laboratory at the University of Virginia has been working on the topic of oocyte proteins. And in particular, we've been looking at those proteins that are involved in the process of fertilization with an eye to potentially finding new strategies for making new contraceptives. In the last five years or so, we've come to some new insights about cancer. And this insight is that a large number of cancer cells, when they go awry, begin to take on characteristics of the egg. We've discovered proteins that are normally found only in growing eggs. And these proteins are showing up on the surface of cancer cells. The power of this observation is that because these proteins are restricted to only growing eggs in the normal body, we can develop drugs that target these proteins in cancer cells, kill the cancer cells, and the prediction is that normal cells in the body will remain unharmed. Most contemporary cancer therapies attack both healthy and cancerous cells. The new discoveries offer the possibility of creating targeted therapies that are directed selectively at cancer cells. And the impact of this will be, we believe, to significantly reduce the side effects of contemporary cancer therapy. This finding is going to be impacting a large number of cancers. We found this new egg target to be present in ovarian cancer at about 90% of the cases, uterine cancers at about 75% of the cases, pancreatic cancers at about 60% of the cases, in renal cancers it appears to be there at about 75% of the cases. So a very high percentage of people with cancers are going to be impacted by this new discovery. The way this will work is that we'll have a companion diagnostic test that will selectively identify the patients who will benefit from the therapy. So the therapy will only be given to those patients in whom we identify this target. That will reduce the cost of treatment. Patients that don't have this target will not be treated. And in fact, during the clinical trials, it's very likely that the effectiveness of the drug will be best demonstrated in these cohorts of patients that have the target. So we're very excited by this new discovery and we think it is going to open a lot of doors and most fundamentally we discovered a whole new field and this field of research has been classified as oocyte associated cancer biomarkers. So the university is opening up an entirely new field of endeavor through this fundamental insight into the nature of cancer.